so we know how to solve linear systems of equations with this formula where a is a non-singular n by n matrix x is our vector of unknowns and b is our m by 1 vector which is given so in order to isolate x, we left-hand multiply by a inverse. Which causes cancellation on the left-hand side. And x equals a inverse b. And we can do this because since a is a non-singular matrix, we know that it's invertible. But now let's consider the more general case where a is now an n by m matrix. We can't solve it with this equation because it's not invertible. In other words, if we were to express this as a system of equations, well, in matrix form, it would look something like this. where we have too few unknowns and too many equations. It could look something like this, and I'm just making up random numbers. Okay. So we know right off the bat that there is no x1 and x2 that can solve all of these equations simultaneously. So what would this look like graphically? We would have... So graphically, our system of equations is represented like this, where we know we cannot use interpolation to find a function that fits all the points because it does not pass the vertical line test, if you remember that from middle school. Um, in other words, there's too much noise. There are multiple values for x, where this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis meaning it's impossible to find an exact solution through interpolation to generate a polynomial. So this introduces the least squares problem, where instead of finding an exact solution, we need to find the best approximation um, so now back to AX equals B, where A is any M by N matrix, meaning it can be square or rectangular. Um, and since it's an approximation, we can denote it this way, or we can take X to be X hat. Notice how since we cannot solve this way, we can left-hand multiply this equation by a transpose. Now, oh, whoops. Okay, so now we have where this is an m by n, this is going to be n by m, and we have constructed a square matrix. And we want to isolate x again, so we have x hat equals by left hand multiplying a transpose a inverse, we have x hat equals a transpose a 
inverse times a transpose b. And this is the equation we can use to solve the least squares problem to obtain an approximation. And this portion of our equation is also known as the pseudo inverse denoted by a dagger. The pseudo inverse is basically the same thing as the projection of a matrix 